Hi guys, it is turning into another gorgeous day here in the end times in paradise in Garfield, Texas here on Friday morning, October 12th, 2018, a beautiful fall day in paradise. I got to do a little work out in my garden <coughs> and then the little dog and I need to head to the big city I still got to bring you my ecological meltdown roundup rant. A lot on my plate today. But uh, before I dive into my day, I'm just going to dive into the Humpty Dumpty Tribe mailbag to see what's on the minds of alert or not alert, as the case may be. The tribes members here don't know if I've ever shared a comment from who I asked. I don't know if this is a man or not. Anyway, doesn't matter. We're going to hear from two comments from Kerberos WXIV. Kerberos uh, has some, I don't know why Kerberos' panties were in a wide yesterday. I must have said something to upset this man or woman. Anyway, we're has some words for me and then some words for Paul Beckwith. First, I assume he's talking mostly about me here. As much as I know how dangerous it is to set a date for the apocalypse, I still respect those who are courageous enough to put their honest opinions out there for all to judge or ridicule. This is better than constantly weaseling away, weaseling away by stating the obvious, like this year is worse than the last. The whole point of doomsday prophesying, is it prophesizing or prophesying? The whole point of doomsday prophesying is to sound the alarm to the clueless fucking morons. And the only way to reach even a tiny fraction of these fuckers is to give them a solid deadline because they cannot comprehend the gravity of the situation otherwise. It is not so much to make sure everyone survived as it is to make sure the few that awakened can change their consciousness and get their priorities in life straight before the great splat. My response to Kerberos on that. Or you can make these pointless predictions as some folks now in the Doomosphere do to get all the pussy you can before doomsday as impressionable doomer chicks listen to this horse shit, you know, about putting a date on, uh, on when humans are going to go extinct. But on second thought, the world will end. The world will end on February 2nd, 2019 at 8.42 a.m. So, all you clueless doomer bimbos listening to this horseshit had better come grab your piece of ham bone, the doomsday prophet, while you still can, as nookie is all that remains in the end times. But it's one thing to uh, cast aspersions on ham bone, the doomsday prophet, but it's another when you start talking trash about my heroes such as uh, Paul Beckwith. <clears throat> I think Paul Beckwith is suffering psychological trauma and mental breakdown because he is realizing that he has made grave errors in his overly optimistic estimates of the dire situation and that his techno-utopian belief in geoengineering fixes to climate change is nothing but his delusional wet dreams. Plus, 
his expected pension from all the promoting of geoengineering is likely never going to get cashed. Anyway, I am not looking forward to anything this dishonest sellout has to say. My comment on that one uh, was, I think it is more to do with his decision to have three children, but that is just my hunch. Paul Beckwith is no dishonest sellout. When you are running down my heroes, man, you're walking on the fighting side of me. Talking trash about Paul Beckwith. You know, uh, anyway, enough of this horse shit. Uh, I got to dive into my, uh, while I'm waiting for all you doomer bimbos to come grab a piece of ham bone, I'm going to do what I do every Friday, and that's head into my ecological meltdown roundup rant, and then I'm going to go out to the garden where I should be right now. Bye, guys. What are you doing, little dog?